Hola, my amigos. Que pasa? How's it going? So, this is going to be my favorite items that I used in 2017. Now, they're not necessarily products that came out in 2017, but they're things that, like, I religiously used in 2017. Or things that I just really liked. So... A lot of this is like makeup and beauty, but then again, my makeup game became really strong this year. But don't worry, I didn't give up on my Batman, as you can tell, because yes, I love my Batman. So this year, I became obsessed with the brand Tarte, and uh, let me throw it. This shit costs way too much money to have it thrown around, let's be honest. So. The first thing that got me, like, completely obsessed with it is the Swamp Queen palette by uh, Graveyard Girl. Love Bunny. Um, so, don't really know how to, like, do this. Um, but, yeah. And so, the highlight is, like, amazing. And I just really love the names on it. Um, I really love, what is it? Big Baby and Sassy Bun. And then, um gator wings and i wear this one on my eyelids too because i wear natural colors and tart just smells amazing like seriously it smells bomb and then i just got this one um with my gift card that i got from christmas and i've wanted it for a while and so i got um it's tart tartus tartlet um flirt and so yeah I have it on my eyes today. Um, I just have this neutral shade on my eyes. And then I have a elf lipstick that Colton's mom got me for Christmas. But, yes. So, this guy, he hasn't been used that much. And then, um, I think this is like the Dream Big or Big Dream or something like that. Um, they're, I don't know. I need, I need all of my palettes to tell me what they are. Please, thank you. <laughs> um... And I actually hate this packaging, but I really wanted it because of the colors inside. Um, and so I got this one for my birthday, which was Halloween. So it's also not really that used. I've used the um, this shade right here. It's called Love. And uh, I use it as a highlighter and as a eyeshadow. Um, and then I have the rainforest of the sea palette and th i think this this might be the second one no this is the third one and um so yes i really really love this guy i use tiki heat wave um compass and jewel a lot but again all neutral shades because that's all that i wear and then I like to get those little uh, packs that come with all different, like, sample sizes of things. So I got a bunch of those when they went on sale at um, Ulta. And so I got um, this guy. He came in a pack. And it is a blush uh, slash highlighter. And so, yes. And let's see. It's called Pink Champagne. And I'm wearing it today. And then I also got this whenever I got the Flirt palette. And this is a uh, lip paint uh, TARDIS. And it is in the shade Tinsel. And it's just a very shimmery lip gloss. And it's amazing. Just saying. And then in the little kits that I got, they all come with um, mascaras. And mascaras are my favorite things. I just wish that these were um, waterproof. But that's okay. And so, it's kind of cool to, like, try them out in the kits without having to actually buy the full size. Only, um, as Maneater, I did get this one on Black Friday, the full size one, because it was 10 bucks. So, yeah. And then this is, this came in the, uh, Sex Kitten kit. So, I don't know if that's one, it's just this TARDIS on it. And then, this is Light the Camera Lashes, and I like this one a lot. This one, um... It's more of, like, super natural look, and, like, you can barely tell that you have anything on. Like, this kind of looks like, I don't know, you curled your lashes or something. This is the one that I have on today. So, y'all. Yeah. And then, um, 
this is the Tarte, um, it's got a lip liner on one end, and then it has the lipstick on the other end, I'm like, what? And this is in the shade Delightful. And then, um, I recently started using this. Um, I, my grandma used to give me, like, Estee Lauder and, like, Guess and Clinique, um, makeup bags that have, like, all the sample sizes in them. And I ran out of face, facial wipes to makeup remover and took my makeup off. And so this was sitting there the other day and I tried it and, oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. This is the, um, Estee Lauder Dental Eye Makeup Remover. It comes off so easy. It's amazing. So, like... If you haven't tried this, go try it. And then I'm back to my Ulta and eyeshadows. Um, these are two shimmer shadows. Um, the glitter top coats is what they say. Um, this guy I've hit pan on. I use him a lot. And that is Girl Glitz. And then this one is called Fairy Princess. And I've also used... A nice chunk of this guy as well. And then I also experimented with primers this year. Which came in my beauty boxes. So I have, this is a Becca First Light Priming Filter. And I used this guy for a while. Um, I don't really have much to say about it. I don't even know if I was using it right, let's be honest. And then I bought this at Ulta and it's the NYX Pouring pore filler and I do like this one and um it's like orange and it's really weird looking which kind of like freaks me out a little bit but you don't know whatever and then I got this in one of my um birch boxes and um it smells like sunscreen and the consistency is like sunscreen but I like how it makes everything look this is the one that I'm wearing under my makeup today so I don't know. It's like a love-hate relationship, I guess, maybe. <laughs> um, and then we have some dry shampoo. This is the first year that I tried um, these. What is this? Batiste. Uh, because they're, like, outrageously expensive. I don't know. They're, like, six bucks a can or something like that. And these were um, buy one, get one free on Black Friday. But they are um, both gone because I used them all. Because... I try to not wash my hair every day, but I do have a crazy scalp because of my stupid dad's genetics. And, um, I got the blonde hair and the greasy hair. My mom has dark hair that's thick, and it doesn't get greasy. So, you know, thanks, dad. But anyway, so I'm trying to trim my hair so that I don't need to wash it all the time. So I've been, like, living for dry shampoo, and I decided to finally try those because they were on sale. Um. And I guess we'll talk about something that's not uh, related to uh, makeup. So, these are my Sperry's. I wore these for like eight months straight. Not kidding. Not over-exaggerating. I wore these shoes every single day. These wore my shoes. These are still my shoes. I have newer ones now, but I would still wear these instead of the new ones. I don't know, I guess, because these ones are like so broken in. Like, they don't even have aglets on them because my dog ate them off. Yeah, Lily, the Yorkie, she likes to eat aglets. And so she ate them, and yeah. But, and these ones are like my third pair of, um, like, the normal ones. I bought, the, my newer ones of these that I have are leather. And, I don't know, they're still spares, but, like, darker. They're, they're not just, like, this, like, tan color. I don't know how to explain them, but... I love these, and I will keep wearing them until they fall apart, but, like, literally, they are, they are falling apart, but, I mean, until I can't wear them anymore, like, they don't even have structure, They're, like, what is this? I don't know, I just lived in them, and they've been, like, wet and everything, I don't know how they're still living, and then, this will be the last thing that I talk about, because this is the most stuff that I have, I became obsessed with Bath and Body Works, um, my friend used to give me a bunch of sprays that were, like, out of tape when not because her mom would always hit up, like, the semi-annual sales and whatnot. Well, uh, I just started getting them all myself, and then I started getting the emails, and then I just started going there all the time. 
so this year was the first year that I decided to try out the soaps. Um, I hear people rave about their soaps all the time. So, yeah, this is the cinnamon, uh, caramel swirl, and then winter woods. And I actually haven't tried these ones yet. I got soaps from my dad and Colton's mom for Christmas because they like soaps and they change their soaps up in the house often. And then, whenever they had the, whoa, <laughs> they, when they had the Black Friday sale going on, oops, excuse me, where they, um, had buy three, get four free, I, uh, had to hit that up. So, yeah. And I went to a few different sales, so that's about, you know, you're like, why is there so many? Um, I got two for Colton's mom and then, uh, five for me. And tomorrow I'm going to the semi-annual sale with my mom, so I'll probably come home with, like, six more, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I have... All different sprays. None of them are repeating. Thank God. So, <laughs> I have the Winter Wonder Berry? Winter Berry Wonder. Frosted Snow Blossom. Which I didn't even know these ones were a thing. Um, and then Snowflakes and Cashmere. Uh, Frosted Coconut Snowball. And then uh, Winter Gingerbread Latte. But these are the collection from the Twisted Peppermint. But, like, Twisted Peppermint wasn't there this year. So, like, I don't I don't know what happened to that. But I did get Twisted Peppermint last year. I just became way, way more obsessed with these guys um, this year. I'm just going to throw them all over the ground. <laughs> and then, this, these, these are my Pride and Joy, okay? These are my minis. Um, I love the travel-sized ones because you can stick it inside your car. Or your purse, and my purse is ginormous, so honestly, I can fit these inside my purse. Like, the, one of these was inside my purse, and I had to go get it for this video. So, I'm obsessed with the minis, and I have every, like, scent. I was going to say flavor, but no, no. Passion fruit spray? <laughs> yeah, fruit spray? <laughs> no, don't eat it. And, uh, so, some of these guys are here. These are my newer ones that I got from Black Friday on that aren't opened, um, and I have used some, and then I got, like, new ones, but I don't have any repeating sprays right now. So once I use it, I'll buy another one, but I don't have, like, any two of the same scent. And so these are the guys that I got for Christmas. They are the new um, scents, I guess, this year. Uh, Winter Candy Apple, uh, Vanilla Bean Noel, and then Mint Drop, Coconut Mint Drop. And these are the three that I'm looking forward to the most getting tomorrow because they're three dollars and fifty cents, which is like literally how these guys are. What are these like? Six fifty, and these are usually fourteen. So, like, I can't wait to get the giant ones for three dollars and fifty cents. Like, oh my gosh, I just can't. It makes me so happy. And then this is Magic in the Air. We have a big one of this upstairs, so I guess there is a repeater. But I didn't actually buy that one. My friend gave it to me, so it doesn't count. Um. And we use it all the time. Uh, a Thousand Wishes. Hello, beautiful. Uh, Tahiti Island Dream. I love this one. There was one, uh, I think it was called Forever Sunshine. And I loved it. It was the first scent that I ever got from Bath and Body Works by myself. And I've never found it since then. It was like just then, completely like in the season, and it, I never saw it again. It was my favorite. The best. But this is like the only one that like I guess kind of resembles it. And that's Love and Sunshine. But um, like it, that scent was the best I'm telling you. And then Vanilla is my shit. So this is warm vanilla. <laughs> but yes, as you can tell, I'm a hoarder. But I like to smell like something different every day. But I could tell that I smell good all the time. So, you know. And it's not a waste of money if you're getting, like, half of them for free, now is it? Yeah. So, those are just kind of some things that I super loved and got into in 2017. And I'm sure my collection for Bath & Body Works and Tarte will get a lot bigger this year. Because, um, I'm just gonna save up all my money and buy everything. So, yeah. I hope y'all had a good day. And, yeah. Adios, my amigos. Bye.